do before, well, we're, still, we're working on the larger one now. I just don't want to show anybody yet. I want to surprise everybody when we get the bigger one. But I am going to alter this one because uh, it's got flaws. Yeah, I don't want to pull a wool over anybody's eyes. I got a lot of flaws in this thing. I just noticed this the other day. Uh, number one, I said that any motion outside of what you want is wasted energy. Well, I'm getting a lot of slack here. That's wasted energy. I'm getting a lot of vibration here, I'm getting a lot of vibration down there, and by putting on the larger pendulum, my design right here was is screwed. This is a piece of quarter inch thick steel, 10 inches long and set, uh, four inches wide, and it's actually flexing back and forth. So I'm losing a lot of energy here. Uh, what I want to do is correct all these problems. And uh, remember, that's 70 pounds over there. I'm picking up twice every time I'm doing this, okay? Uh, what I want to do is increase the width of the uh, width of the pendulum and increase its length just a little bit. I'd like to get it to really close to seven, I think, mean, uh, two meters, which would be uh, six foot six. I'm going to have to cut this out, extend it over, that kind of thing. But I can do that. Uh, let's see. I want to put the weight in, I'm going to get to a full 6 to 1 ratio. I'm going to try to get the pendulum to where I can pick up a full 100 pounds at least 2 inches. Now, if I have a 6 to 1 ratio and I pick up 2 inches back there, that means this, this end is now going to move a third of an inch. Well, a third of an inch, this is all the energy I'm going to have to put into it right there. And it could be 100 pounds. Uh, another thing about the machine, what you have to remember is the length of the pendulum and the amount of weight that's on it. Okay. If the pendulum weighs 100 pounds and it's 1 meter, then it will pull with 200 pounds every second because it takes 2 seconds for a cycle. Now, if it's 2 meters, then it takes four seconds per cycle, but you get two pulls per cycle, so that's a pull per second. However, if it weighs 100 pounds, at one meter it will pull with 200 pounds. Here is plausibility. At two meters, it doubles. It pulls with 400 pounds. At three meters, that will double, and it will pull with 800 pounds. At four meters, that same 100 pounds will have a 1,600 pound pull, but it will do that every four seconds. That's the conundrum. Thanks for listening.